Alrighty guys, it's divide and conquer time for Third Age Total War. Now, we're having something of a comeback. Um, we've been having not just victories on the battlefield, but actually victories taking enemy settlements. Last episode we had a tough battle at Mistrand, um, our second attempt, but we captured it. And then we gifted it uh, to Darwinian. But again, they didn't get any units there. So we're going to try and sack these settlements. And the dwarves are making a push. And we're going to try and support them over there in the east. Uh, we'll be able to recruit units from here soon. But today, we're going to have this battle here. And the problem here is, even if we win that battle, we might get to Led Holt and be able to besiege it, but then we're going to get attacked from behind by Avrank. So we really need to minimize our casualties or hope that he doesn't attack us, which would be unlikely. Unlikely. They're now getting better units and they expanded massively just with their base units. Um, so yeah. Uh, but this is actually our best army that we've ever managed to put together so far. So we'll see what we can do. Right, we're not going to wait. Yeah, we've got some fancy units in there. Those can actually put down stakes. The hearth guard. Ah, I didn't realise that. That's quite possibly the last unit in the mod that can put down stakes. Wow. Right. Well, we're definitely going to make use of them. Those are all missiles. <clears throat> definitely make use of them. Right. Their speech seems a little low. Um, and that was actually pretty high. Yeah. They don't sound very loud. All right. Their speech should be a lot higher. They don't have skirmish either. Are those javelins, I wonder? We'll find out soon enough. I'm a general up there. Right. You pick up your bows. Actually got a decent amount of cav, although it's all pretty much light cav. Get ready, dwarves. It's actually a really solid line. You can also do shield wall, can't you? Right. You, you, and you. You're in shield wall. I'll take them forever to chew through that. Although we're supposed to be attacking them, they may still come forward. Nope, they're actually going to pull away, aren't they? That's frustrating. I figured because they had quite a few troops in there, 1100. They might have come after me. Yeah, they're going to have that range of build or the range because they're up on the hill. Well, we will then come forth. Ah. And here they come, coming back down. They are actually moving quite forward. Nope, they do have bows. And they start firing. I think we're in range of many of them.
go ahead and run I swear they're a lot quieter than they were before everyone is firing half guard Yeah, those missiles are doing pretty good. Right. Who do they have in there? Those are medium troops. Do need to watch out for them. Uh, they got to one of my good units. Now there. Get those spears in there. Here's a pain when they don't have any um, skirmish ability. Twelve percent. Can we live with twelve percent casualties? You don't have to. That coward. We are going to continue because we want to run them down, as you just said. Go on, men of Dale. Right, he's running off over there. Oh, you must have really long range. Thirteen percent probably dropped down to about ten. 97% on. Um, go on, get going. They're still managing to shoot somebody. Maybe you're getting some friendly fire. Who's left? Right, you've got to be on top of them. So it is. The 
realm of Gondor. Men of Gondor! You better get your head back in, mate. Or you'll take an arrow to the eye. Well, we got there. They might spawn a garrison. Uh, we're going to try and sack that one if we can survive um, our rank. I wonder. Can we merge up that cavalry? Oh, there's no mercenaries, unfortunately. Failsman, diplomat. You know, if we had our other diplomat over here, uh, we could gift these ones to the veil. Try to build up the veil over here. All right, so we've got two thousand left over. Um, I don't even think there's any buildings that I can put in. I did all that last time. Everyone has buildings. You know what we can do? We can do that old cheat. Um, we're going to lose that money. We're going to lose some of it. I did see a building there. Chicken farming. Trader. Great market. And that take most of that. It's a bit of a cheat, but <laughs> oh well, I need all the help I can get. Turn 99. Now I'm probably going to have to choose a new campaign in the Broken Crescent mod, um, because I think this one will come out roughly the day that we finish Broken Crescent. Um, should I start putting up faction votes or yeah faction votes because we should have passed 1200 subs um, how do you all feel about faction votes uh, if your faction doesn't win do you unsubscribe do you stop watching the channel do you stop watching the particular mod I don't know I see a lot of channels that do faction votes I don't know of it boosts uh, subscribers or viewers or would be counterproductive let me know what you prefer I do generally vote on other channels when they put up a faction vote but even if I don't win I'll generally watch whatever they're playing anyway All right, I think we can sally out from there and beat both of them I wonder if Dorwinian has any ships, because they've got that army on the Isle of Naburka, or the Isle of Nabur, and it's most of a stack. I can't gift them a ship, can I? Oh, we've gone into debt quite a bit there. Gundabad besieged by who? Is it the dwarves? Are they making a push? Let's hope so. Right, just as we got that, well, they got attacked and besieged. Yep, we're getting some better troops. Better troops are coming. Right, you go and try to join up with them. We've got a mission for our little ship. Oh, they're sending a lot more troops over. Where's my little ship? Right there. Nobody extra from there. But sending those over. Right. Who's besieging him? 
that one. Right, well, we helped them out because they've helped us out. I think I also got some spies though, didn't I? Yep. Go on, figure out which side of the river you're getting on. I think we will put one over there. Do I get one or two? I got two. You're in there. Big army. Yeah, but we need him down there. See, they got that army. But it's not doing any good there. Nope, oh, they do have some troops right there. So Avrank didn't attack us, did he? During the end turn. Oh, if we had some money. Uh, Going to lose about 3,000 per turn. Let's see who's there. It's our ally, in his wife. Go and see uh, Isengard. Yeah, they didn't attack. So... Two units in there. What's the order resolve like? Ah, they spawned two units of orcs defenders, but no upgrades. No upgrades. Ten defense. Mm, that's not terrible. We've got a lot of range units, and it might only have a wooden wall. 40 to 9. Ah. I'm tempted to order resolve it. But I might lose some of those good units. 300. Quite a few casualties. It's not going to give us much. Oh no, it's Lagaran. Oh no, I know him. We faced him at the earliest part of the campaign and he was a nightmare. He was a nightmare. He almost single-handedly won a battle by himself. He's a scary dude. Did he have Camus Shadow Rangers? I think that might have been his unit. Now we really need those extra 300 men. Well, we get him one unit. We're not going to do well against them. Well, we got more money left over. Might as well figure out where to spend it. Now, uh, they do have two armies there. And those are actually quite good. What's our chance? 12, 19, 50. I'm not outnumbered much. Uh, We've only got, well, we've got 62 cav. We should be able to take out those. But they're getting mid-tier troops. They're actually quite good. Goblin headhunters. Um, might make the episode long. Let's go for it. Because if we can win, we can recruit two units here. Oh, you await my orders. 
home the boss of me. Yes, but they're going to take a while to come in. He's already firing. Now they're withdrawing. But they're only going to withdraw a certain distance. So it's 700 coming from over there. Right, speed all of that up. Is that the artillery that's lagging behind? It is. Sixty-seven. I mean, they've pulled back quite a distance. You can get rid of that artillery, that'd help. Yeah, you're going to leave your equipment. He's got stuck in there. Okay, get out. Slow that back down. Right, who are they sending over here? Keep away from them, but there are some archers we can go after. It's nine percent. Taking out that archer unit. Used up most of those javelins. Not a great charge through there. Right. I think we're going to have time to deal with them. <clears throat> So you say, 
Evet yol Evet third of them. No, you took a beating from someone. Run them boys down. Who's shooting them up? Maybe the scouts. Right. Nope. It's going to be the uh, headhunters. We need to go after them. has been routed Rovanian riders You should be running. Oh, no, is it going to be a pain? Put them in place. I'm having a lot of helicopters fly over recently. Yesterday it was a, I think it was the same military helicopter, but it was all day and it's very low. Pretty sure there was a limit to how low they can fly, but nobody follows the laws here. I mean, it does have to go over a residential neighborhood on either side of the airport. Are we winning? How did they get past you? Alright. So you say... That's a lot of archers. Killing that many of them. We should definitely try to smash the enemy. Three hundred prisoners. Right, you don't worry about them. You're going to be out of ammunition very soon. Go on. Right. You are out of ammunition. Hmm. 
We killed off that cavalry yet. All right, now running for it. Probably not going to catch him. It's not even worth going after him, I don't think. Yeah, definitely gone over the time limit, but I think it was worth it to get this battle done. There's battles and battles and battles every episode now. Multiples. Right, those are broken. Run them down. Well, those ones are holding. He's out of ammunition. No, you keep shooting them. Mirkwood Urux. The uh, heavy spear they look like. Keep firing. I'm wavering. Right, do it. Was someone out there to chase? Just marching off. Really not breaking. You know what? Hold your ground. Five hundred prisoners. No idea where they're marching to. Is there a of ammo? Who are you trying to catch up to? Canvas had a lot of work to do. In this episode. Hold your ground. Stop. Yay, still corner of our army. None of the orcs will ever return out of Lorien, ever return out of Lorien from, ever return from Lorien out of Lorien. Old Hal there, hmm. Who's going to be watching the Rings of Power 
Season 2. Not I. Mm -hmm. Right, our culture is 46%. It should still be going up. That will only give us one unit. That will give us cavalry. Um, three turns, four turns. Take that one. Oh yeah, we've got access to lots of units now. Lots and lots of units. Anyone else need a building? Uh, no, not there, not there, not there. Right, um, more units, more units, more units. Can't get anyone there. Can't get anyone there. Spies we can get. Cav, archers, swords. Right, that's our general's bodyguard. Um, sword masters, we don't have any of those yet. You're coming up. Got some of those. Barding marksmen are good. Oh, we must have a discount on recruitment there. Still got 4,000 left over. Might have to do that sneaky trick with the uh, buildings again. Or get some more. Spies. Yeah. Not there. That that was the apothecary. Not there. Why are you doing that one? That would give us ballista makers now. No, that will not work. Could do it in there. Actually losing population at the moment. Eleven. Eight. Oh yeah, it's not going to work, is it? Because it's already hasn't been started. Ah, that's annoying. Hmm. Oh well, we'll take that one. Suppose we. We can retrain him. Right. <coughs> Unless there was a mercenary unit that we could have gotten. Was there? Oh, yeah. Um, go back to that plastered building where we are retraining. What's his name? Right there. That'll give us enough for a, another cav unit. We do face a lot of cav from runic forces All right hopefully we can sack this one whoever that is it's faction air Khan Alton a lot of population and gift it to Dorwinian again 